Hey Capricorn, welcome to your J July monthly love reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. So uh, please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, therefore it can go vice versa, and this reading's not going to resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? So let's get straight into it here. This is also for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? We have Venus Offer is your first card, okay? Masculine with the Ace of Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the masculine, uh, whoever's in the masculine energy here, is about ready to offer something. Um, if this is a situation where you guys already have started, already expressed how you feel about each other, this is taking it to a new level. This is renewing it into something completely different, okay? You also got good news, okay? With journey change, out of chaos comes order, productive progress through business or travel, possibly an adventure by water, with pleasant surprise. I mean, you've got all of these great news. Look, uh, oh, look for the unexpected, okay? All right, let's just get into it. Overall energy. The overall is the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. Does someone feel overwhelmingly uh, content with you? My goodness. So this is harmony, love, passion, feeling very happy, content, and positive. This is, this is good. It's almost like, uh, wow, what did you do this to this person, Capricorn? This is amazing. This feels really good. Okay. So let's see what's happening with you. Nine of Cups. Now we got the Nine of Cups. Let's see here. Nine of Cups, Judgment, Nine of Pentacles. So I see for this month, majority of this month, you are feeling pretty good, right? But this is also about just you feeling good and successful in whether you're working at a job or you started a new business. Whatever is fulfilling you and making you happy, you are doing this month. And you're it's making you feel like you're on top of the world here, okay? Um, this is a decision for that you have made to just focus on yourself, love yourself. You, you, you're kind of happy and content. There's a little excitement I'm feeling um, in regards to you, you. You're sensing something that's happening here. Something coming towards you. I know you sense something. Judgment moon. Yeah. Some of the moon card. Empress. It's almost like you, you're you feeling like you're about to hit your peak, right? What you've always wanted. You're about to hit that level. Like whatever your goal was, whether it be in your career, uh, attaining as much money as you wanted, whatever it is, you're feeling good. You're on cloud nine. You're feeling independent, successful here. You're feeling very comfortable and stable, but you're sensing something's happening here that's going to send you over the, over the top. Okay. Tell me the nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, temperance. It's almost like because you focused on you, because you kind of, uh, kind of let go, not let go of the person in a sense of, uh, like loving them and how you feel about them. But you let go of the outcome. You've literally manifested greatness here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Three of Wands. You know someone's coming. You can feel it energetically. You've manifested it. You know it's happening. And you know you're about to get, literally, I know it's cliche, you're happily ever after here in the Ten of Cups. Which is, I, I mean, that's great. I feel like I can't stop smiling right now for you guys. Uh, your energy is like so stable and so comfortable and happy. So let's see what they're doing right now. Tower. Ace of Cups. There's our Ace. And the High Priestess. You feel it because you guys are truly 
connected. This can definitely be a soulmate connection, twin flame, but definite soul tie. Okay. Tower Ace of Cups. This person right now is like, whoa, I love this person. Like, I want to spend time with this person. I miss them. I want to be around them. I want to just be filled with, I just heard, they love your smile. Because uh, I just heard, I get lost in their smile. It lights up the world. So uh, tell me about this tower here. Whoa. Again, manifestation, right? Magician Ace of Wands. You've manifested this. So it's like, okay, I'm seeing a little storyline here. So you're dealing with a person where you possibly communicate every day or it's just quick, right? Text message or a phone call um, or a chat, chat group, whatever it is. And I'm seeing that um, even if you don't, even if you only hear from them once a week or whatever, this person may state to you how much they care about you. You know they love you and you love, they, <clears throat> they, they know the other as well right but the thing is is it's never really progressed you've always kind of wanted them to go because you've not you've not told them you're like gosh I miss them I want to be around them I want to spend I want them to want to spend time with me that's where you're at and so you started manifesting you let go of caring about that and worrying like why don't they do they not care as much you let that go and when you let that go, you let, you let it in, you let manifestation in and you use the laws of attraction to gear up the energy that was already there. It was already there. This person already wanted this, but it kind of put it as a priority for them. And it came unexpectedly out of the air. It's like a light bulb moment. And it shot to them, like, because you manifested this, um, we uh, then it came to them gosh i i just want to make time and spend time with them like i love them so much this overflowing amount of emotion this is fantastic i am like feeling super happy right now like i feel like i can't stop smiling tell me the high priestess seven of swords five of wands oh it's giving me detail why possibly this person hasn't uh hasn't met your expectations in what you were wanting them to do all along. Okay. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, High Pre or Knight of Pentacles. That's somebody that purposely, um, as a strategy, kind of took things very slow. Tried to not put too much effort in, but at least let you know that kind of where they want this to head. But it was kind of staying stagnant, right? Or it seemed like it was, but it wasn't. It was their strategy. Um, but with the five of wands here, it was tough to do this. Okay, this is somebody that kind of caused a little ruffle here and there on purpose uh, just to keep things kind of, they. it's like a control factor, right? They wanted to keep the energy controlled where it was. They could only do that because you were stuck in that. Uh, you were stuck in wanting that from them. They knew you wanted that. But once you released it, it's like all of a sudden it's opened up. There's nothing for them to strategize anymore because you're not holding on to that energy. So tower, the tower happened. Boom. Here we go. So let's see what happened in the past. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Yeah, it was just a little... This person didn't commit fully, although with the Ten of Pentacles here, <clears throat> you could have worked with this person or they had just spoken to you about, it would be nice in the future. Yeah, I, I would love to um, get married one day or I would love to, you know, uh, for us to get a house together and live. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's just speaking of it, not really taking action, not really moving forward, okay? It's, it's niceties, but it's not enough, okay? So let's see what the challenge was here. Let's see here. Two of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. 
So the challenge, well that, this is a little interesting. So the challenge was, again, uh, like I said, was that person trying to control, they wanted to win, be six, let me say it like this. They wanted to be successful in keeping the energy controlled in a certain um, bubble, if you would say, okay? And like I said, when you were holding on to that, they, five of swords, two of cups, they knew you wanted more from them. They knew you were wanting them to say this or make a decision with the two of wands. Somebody didn't make a decision, um, but you knew they wanted them to make a decision in regards to you telling you, okay, this is what's happening. I'm going to do this. Like they didn't jump on it. Um, whether it be to spend more time with you or be with you or just commit to you, whatever it was, 10 of wands. The challenge was, this was too much. It, it was like really hard on this person to keep everything going in their life. So whatever responsibilities they had or whatever was going on, you were one blip in that person's life, that one more responsibility they had. And it became, it became really hard. And in a sense, it became hard for you. I just saw 1144. That means that's an angel number. Watch out for that one. If you guys are seeing it, that means the universe is creating your happily ever after behind the scenes. I love that number. It means that you're manifesting. You are manifesting, Capricorn. Anyways, it's also been really hard for you because you haven't been able to really get what you wanted out of the situation. Okay, it's been kind of frustrating. This Ten of Wands is more for you, just frustration. So let's see... Uh, what they want to happen here. Let's see where this is headed. All right. Tell me about the strength card. Strength eight of swords. So, where what they want? Okay. Tell me about the five of pentacles, real quick. Hold on. Ah. What they want is, um, they want. To, so they're okay. Let's just make this clear. They are coming to you. They're going to express their love. This is a new beginning here. Okay, a new start and things moving forward. Actually, action happening. Um, being able to feel like, whoa, I'm what I'm wishing for is actually coming true. But also, what they're wanting to happen is they're wanting to try to. Is still at the same time take control back of the energy, but they're struggling with that because you've let go already. So there's nothing to hold on to. There's nothing to control. Okay, so you might felt like at this part that this person might have strategized at times, might have controlled a little bit uh, the scenario. Um, you might have felt like you didn't really have a say. You're just waiting on them, kind of thing. Okay. What they, what they want to come of this is a brand new start. They want to be able to uh, fulfill your wishes. They want to be able to um, make this happen for you and be able to make you a priority here is what I'm seeing, okay? So Capricorn, if this reading is resonating with you, I'm offering extended reading. I'll put the link in the description box down below. We're going to go over the outcome to the situation, okay? We're going to go over what actions this person's going to take, where this situation is headed, okay? Also, hidden energies, what you need to know that you don't know, and messages from your person, okay? If this is your last stop, thank you so much. I've enjoyed it. It's such an honor and a pleasure to read for you. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.